we uh, we got Shannon Dobson versus Casey O'Neill. Um, Casey O'Neill was five at no. Casey King O'Neill. Um, she's twenty three years old. Uh, she's another Sc- Scottish uh, fighter fighting out of Tiger Muay Thai. I think that's in Thailand. I, I'm yeah, it pretty, is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, she had yeah. She has a five and zero record. Um, two three wins by decision. Um, a TKO victory and a submission victory, and then has a four and two uh, amateur record dating back to 2014. But in 2014, she was only 17 years old. So like, you can't really hate her for losing back then. Crazy. Um, ever since she's been undefeated. Um. On the other hand, Shannon Dobson is like the hype killer, you know. So, Shan- I, I, I'm a big, I, I love Shannon Dobson. She, um, she went into that Maria Agapova fight as one of the biggest underdogs I've ever seen, and then pulled out that W. Yeah. Um, she recently f- uh, switched over to uh, Elevation Fight Team. Um. Obviously, one of the best, um, one of the best, uh, what's it called, fight teams out there, uh, MMA gyms out there. Um, hang on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure she fight, um, she trained, she trains under um, what's his name, uh, Trevor Whitman, or she has, she has trained under Trevor Whitman. I like Trevor. Um, so nice. I think um, as great of a career as Casey O'Neill could have in the future, I'm actually going to take Shanna Dobson in this. I think she's resurged her career after moving to Elevation Fight Team. She showed that in her win against Maria Agapova, and I think that she gets another win, probably unanimous decision. She just grinds it out, makes it ugly. Um, she's got a four and four record, but she's much better than that. She beat a high level person, like high level fighter. Her last fight, she's been in the UFC basically her entire career, also. So that's true. Four and four record isn't that bad when you think about it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take Shana Dobson. She's gonna. Go back into that uh, win column. What? Uh, this is a flyweight bout. Mm-hmm. O'Neill is being listed at last weigh in 115 pounds, even though that she's. You said this is a flyweight, right? Yeah, it's a flyweight fight. Is it natural straw weight? Because that's a big difference. Because Shannon Dobson is a big girl. You know? Like, I, that could be a big. No, she's listed at one. I wonder, what is her ranking at this weight? Oh, she's three and zero, so she's split back and forth in between. She's got a short career of only five fights. Yeah. Um. Plus, she's also very young, so yeah, we've yet to see which weight division really fits her. Um, and I I'm not as familiar with her as I am with Shanna Dobson, and I know Shanna Dobson does not mind taking on people with some hype on them because. Agapova had a lot of hype on her when uh, Shanna Dobson fought her, and Shanna Dobson w- won the fight. You know. Yeah. Uh, um, I I think I'll, I'm probably gonna disagree with you on just one, on this one. Just I'm gonna go for if we're thinking decision, which I think this is definitely gonna go to. I think I like Casey O'Neill and the volume. Um. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Casey O'Neill. This, yeah, but this is so tough. I don't like this one at all. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I this is this is another stay away from. Um, again, it's somebody new to the UFC. How are you gonna? Pre- um, you got a stud in Shannon Dobson. Yeah. Seeing seeing where they're at, you know, like if she could get through Shannon Dobson, then I'll be like, okay, this girl's serious, you know. Yeah. Um, but I would I would keep my money away from this fight. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, I, I totally agree. We're going to agree not to touch this one. But we're going to disagree going for it. You're going to go with Dobson. Yeah, I'll take I'm going to go with O'Neal.